it's the bye week and things are getting a little bit wild, but probably not in the way you expected. During the craziness of that 2020 year where we spent a good part of it shut up in our homes, we all watched the Netflix documentary, The Tiger King. And we all knew at that time that the main character, Joe Exotic, was crazy. But none of you knew, and and I didn't either, to be fair to you, you would have never guessed that that crazy guy from the documentary would be waging a full-on war or feud or whatever you want to call it with Florida State's starting quarterback over who the real Tiger King was. Taking it back to the weekend, Noah Rogers on Instagram DM'd Joe Exotic to troll him, saying that Jordan Travis was the real Tiger King. The Barstool FSU account later shared that, and it started blowing up absolutely everywhere. Well, in typical Joe Exotic fashion, he replied a day or so later in a tweet, obviously not understanding that he was being trolled. And he said, Jordan Travis was six years old when I became the Tiger King. It is my trademark, my IP, and I'm sick of others cashing in on my trademark just because President Biden cares nothing about me being wrongfully imprisoned in America. He said, I'll give any attorney 80% of a settlement to sue JT13 and all companies selling stuff using Tiger King. It's time quarterbacks and anyone else in this country stop stealing from others. Which attorney would like to take this multi-million dollar case? DM me. President Trump, do you see this bleep that your swamp did to my life with the corrupt Department of Justice that you ran? The evidence is all there. Uh, They all admit perjury and a plot to kill me, and they all walk free. Biden should make this right and gain support and free Joe Exotic until Jordan Travis walks in a cage with 20 full-grown tigers and kisses them on the head. Leave the Tiger King business to me. All right, a lot to unpack there, and we're not going to unpack all of it. You can go back and read some of the crazy stuff between Biden and Trump and the Department of Justice and plots to end his life and everything else. We're going to just let you guys have that tweet and go have fun with it on your own. FSU fans obviously lit up Joe's mentions, and and Jordan Travis then released a shirt that was tagged the College King with the price of $31.24, which we'll link in the description Shout out to all the Clemson fans out there. Again, reminder that the Knowles walked into your house and won this weekend. Joe doubled down in an insane way, then backing Gators and the Wisconsin transfer, Graham Mertz, and another tweet that we don't have time to read because that would probably take up all the time we have today. We'll link it in the description as well. But it, it does leave us wondering, who is the real Tiger King? Joe said that until Jordan walks in a cage with 20 full-grown Tigers and kisses them on the head, He can leave the Tiger business to Mr. Exotic. Well, Joe says this like Jordan didn't just walk into Death Valley with 80,000 Tigers cheering on his demise. He says this like Jordan didn't take the field with 11 Tigers in Orlando and another 11 in Clemson, South Carolina, and walk out unscathed, unconquered, and undefeated, which he absolutely did. What about his stats from going up against the Tigers the last two seasons? In 2022, he went 22 of 30 for over 250 yards and a couple of touchdowns against LSU. He then bested that with a similar performance going up over 250 yards, two touchdowns, and a rushing touchdown against Clemson in 2022. His best performance this year was in Orlando where he had 342 yards, four touchdowns, and one on the ground. And then this weekend against Clemson, he had 289 yards, two touchdowns, and a rushing touchdown, including that game winner to Keon Coleman to seal the deal against the Tigers. He's won in New Orleans, he's won in Orlando, and he's won again Clemson, South Carolina against the Tigers. He's gone into hostile environments, and even when he's not been at his sharpest, he's come out on top more times than he hasn't. Now, Jordan's obviously banged up right now, and anybody who's watching that can see it but he's an absolute warrior and it inspires not only his team, but also the fans and the community that are behind him. You guys want to know what made Jameis so endearing. It wasn't his goofy jokes. It wasn't the otherworldly talent that he actually absolutely was. It was the way he worked. It was the way he's still treating his teammates in the NFL. He's the one that's still there shaking every single guy's hand. He's the one that's first in and last out. And listen, we've documented Jordan a ton on this channel. We've done more videos on him than anyone. 
But the kid didn't even want to play football a couple of years due to the last staff, and now he's the all-time leader in touchdowns responsible for at FSU. A place where Ward, Winky, Winston, Warwick, Dunn, Cook, Bolden, Green, Benjamin, and others have played. Jordan Travis stands above them all. People are wondering if it's possible that JT might sit out the next couple of games to recover from whatever is bothering him with that other shoulder. And listen, I don't know if that's smart or not, but I do know that Jordan would absolutely not want that. There's no chance that he wants to sit out there and not be competing. Now, do I think Florida State should try to protect him, to try to not let him go absolutely as hard running the ball these next couple of weeks against opponents that they're way more talented than? Probably. I, I'm game for that. I, I don't think that's quite the same as making him sit out against Tech, Qs, and others. We'll get right back to this, but I do want to give some love to Garnet and Gold for all that they do to support us. They sell some Jordan Travis merchandise that you guys should absolutely go get. You can go to garnetandgold.com, use code NOSLAW, that's N-O-S-L-A-W, for all of the very best in FSU athletic wear and apparel. NOSLAW for 15% off at checkout. Homes games are coming. We spent a lot of time around away from Tallahassee this season. Not much longer. We'll be in Tallahassee for the Virginia Tech game. Come tailgate with us, but make sure that you hit up Garnet and Gold before those home games are here. Now, Jordan has done something that no other quarterback in the country has done so far in this year. And people ask about the Heisman, and he does still have top five odds. But I'll, I'll tell you this. When you're looking at the most effective and the most efficient players in the country this year, Nobody else has three power five wins away from their home stadium. Jordan Travis has that with LSU, Boston College, and Clemson. Nobody else has a win against a top five team and a reigning power five champion. Jordan Travis has that. Nobody else has a game winner in overtime against a team that they hadn't beaten in their place for a decade. But Jordan Travis has that. Jordan's not been his sharpest, and the injury is certainly something that seems to be still bothering him, but he hasn't let it slow him down, and it hasn't impacted him in a way that would impact wins and losses yet for Florida State, and he's won the toughest two games on the schedule already, and so the ceiling is truly limitless for what Jordan Travis can do this year. We started the video off being somewhat funny about Joe Exotic and the craziness that he is and the, the Tiger King uh, slander and everything else that's gone on. But what this really comes down to is, is Jordan Travis the Tiger King or is he going to be the king of college football this year? He's shown what he can do in all situations. He's shown what he can do against the best of the best. Now is when he's not on the road playing a weird game where guys are sick and Boston College has extra motivation. Now is when you see Jordan Travis absolutely start to light it up. And he's got some premier matchups that he can do it in as well. He can do it against Miami. He can do it against Duke. He can do it on the road against Florida. And then he can do it in Charlotte for the ACC championship. Nobody has done what Jordan Travis has done yet to this year. Do other guys have better stats? Absolutely. Have other guys been sharper? Absolutely but they haven't done it the way that Jordan's done it. And does that mean he automatically gets the Heisman? Absolutely not. But does it mean that he is the Tiger King and Joe Exotic can just continue to sit in a cell by himself in prison? Yeah, we'll buy that one.